y vamos a ver esto de izar las velas, las dioses inmutables. Vamos a darle y a ver dónde nos marca. Bueno, nos marca el ejillo. Eh, tenemos que venirnos aquí a... A Liyue. Pues vamos para Liyue. Nos teletransportamos en un momentito y vamos para allá. Bueno, por lo que se ve, tenemos que hablar allí arribita. Así que vamos para arriba. Vamos a ver con Caterin. Vamos a ver qué nos cuenta. Ad Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, traveler? Quiero saber sobre la suma y cuéntame sobre la flota. Vamos a empezar por la flota, porque no he dicho que es en el mar. Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth sharing with you. There you bueno, are. You're the travel that they know will be taking to Inazuma, right? Oh, is that right? <laughs> well, it's an honor to meet you. The fleet has nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a head count, we can get underway. Captain Beto bueno, yo creo que nos van a llevar a Inazuma en esta misión y ya no lo van a enseñar. Of course, there are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose congratulations are in order. Claro que nos marchamos. Si queremos ir a Inazuma ya, queremos verla. Or the depths of the abyss. Eat until we meet again. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Te extrañamos, pues nada. A la Astra Cabeza. Well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. So there's another Catherine at Ninazuma? See, there's no need to get all sappy now. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyan Stone Forest. Okay, thanks for coming bueno, all the way to let us know. Al bosque de piedra que es donde está el barco, ahora lo veremos cuando acabe un poquito el texto. Dios inmutable y utopía eterna. Activada la misión. Venga, vamos a empezar con ella. A ver, más facilito. Mira, esto me imagino que. A ver si vemos por aquí el mapa. Bueno, aquí es donde está el barco. Vemos algo por aquí nuevo. No, no hay nuevo, de momento sigue todo igual. Sigue todo igual. La cima sigue aquí, que no podemos entrar. Sigue con el filito rojo. Bueno, pues vamos a llegar hasta el barco. Vamos a ver, el barco está en este ladito. Vamos, el barco este nadando cuesta un poquito llegar, así que lo más fácil es escalar. Escalamos hasta la cima de la montaña. Vamos para arriba. Ya sé que es un latazo, pero hay que escalar. Vamos a recuperar un poquito de fuerza. Y seguimos para arriba. Todavía estamos bajitos, hay que escalar más. Así seguimos escalando. Luego pasamos al enemigo. Aquí siempre hay un par de huevecillos. Por eso tenemos que pasar para arriba. Desde aquí ya podríamos saltar, pero vamos, hay dos huevos más para que los quiera coger. Desde aquí ya llegaríamos. Así que vamos volando. Bueno, tardamos un poquito, pero vamos bien. Vamos, ahora habla, habrá que hablar con Beidou, que seguramente ya nos llevará a Inazuma. Vamos a ver si nos quiere llevar ya. Está ahí abajo, ya la vemos. Vamos a aterrizarle la cabeza, a ver cómo le sienta. A ver, Beidou, vamos a calcular. Por ahí más o menos. 
Uy, casi. <risa> ah, you finally made it. All these years come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. Bueno, es un honor estar a bordo. Beidou. <risa> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. Sartamos the nation of eternity. Anchors away! Eso, le ven ancla. Vámonos ya, que quiero peinar suma. A ver si nos lleva. Bueno, vamos a ver la cinemática. Bueno, por fin vemos Inazuma. Las primeras imágenes. Ya tenía ganas. Finally made it. You sure kept me waiting, Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. <laughs> Shush! You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy seas can't keep rumors of these outlander sterling deeds at bay. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board after- Oh, right. Kazuha. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all. No matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Fair seas, Captain Beto. Bye bye. Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the down low. <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Logro completado. Vamos a ver que nos da el logro. ¿Dónde está? Que no lo veo. Aquí. Maravilla del mundo. Pues mira, cinco... Cinco protogemas. Bueno, pues buena son. Vamos a cogerla. Vamos a ver dónde nos lleva. 
Y los tres ingenios de héroe también, no está mal. Eh, si os veis, es totalmente la musiquita, decoración japonesa, ni Nasuma. Aquí hay algo que no sé qué será, vamos a investigarlo. Un tomatillo. Ah, digo, la, escuchar la música ambiente. Clásica música japonesa. Vamos, un buen ambiente. Bueno, vamos a hablar con Kageyama. Hello, please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Uh, you must be new here. Excuse me. Please provide the information requested and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Vinimos a comerciar con vino y minerales. Vinimos a buscar a mi hermano. ¿Qué le ponemos? Somos comerciantes. Currently, venga. only members of the International Trade Association are authorized to engage in the import and export of goods. Do you have your traders' permits? Um. Uh, uh, My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to. Here are the entry papers for your kind perusal. What? Uh, take your time. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. Welcome to Rito. Vale. Rito. La ciudad se llama Rito. So, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku decree in force. Not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got now. Let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. Bueno, ¿para dónde hay que ir? Yes, chulo, one mira. branch of the Tri Commission of Inazuma, responsible for samurai. throwing and managing the nation's wealth. Con su espada aquí, mira, um, pedazo de samurai. You really haven't heard of it before? Vamos a ver esto qué es. Mira, un par de artefactos. No está bien. Bueno, pues vamos a ir a, a ver al buró este de asuntos extranjeros. A ver qué nos cuenta. Vamos viendo. Mira, hay una, una tienda. Vamos a ver esta tienda que es lo que nos da. Probar un poco de vino de Mostar. Pero si venimos de Mostar. Vamos, me va a dar vino, pero si ya es cierto de beber vino de Mostar. Seguro que aquí nos cobran el triple, importación. que ver si ha ido la musiquilla japonesa de ambiente bueno, seguimos para donde tengamos que ir con la misión luego ya exploraremos Inazuma más tranquilamente que por cierto en el mapa lo veis que la tenemos como como suelta hay que ir descubriendo monolitos y tal y mira, aquí la tenemos tiene una suma más de nubes. Ahí estáis viendo. Y todo este cacho de aquí, todo este cacho es Inazuma. Esto me imagino que sean islas o algo. Así que vamos a hablar con esta y luego vamos ya abriendo el mapa. Ya cuando acabemos esta misioncilla. You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency, both of you? Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math. Hostia, con razón no van a dar una suma. Qué pedazo de robo. 
ma'am. These two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 more total. Sigue siendo caro, a ver si nos rebajan más. Thank you so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. Hombre, 600 mora ya está mejor. How does that sound? De dos millones que pedía. Estos son peores que hacienda. All right then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. I will make a record. Much obliged. Venga, vete de ahí, so so ladronzuela. Os digo, con razón no queréis nadie en Azuma. It's not as mind-boggling as you think. Processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all their work! <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on retail. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Uh-huh. And is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it can be done. However, before we get there, Connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too! <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that, if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle, so you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. Bueno, pues ya no van a dar curro ni una suma. Vamos a ver qué. Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Never mind. Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are recently things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. Bueno, confesión al ferretero. Ve a la cámara de comercio internacional. Vamos a ver dónde está la cámara de comercio internacional. Por aquí marca un caminito. Marcaba por aquí, pero está en el área. Vamos a ver. Una tienda. Ah, ¿será esto? Jefe de la cámara de comercio, aquí es. Hay que hablar con este. Oh, hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. 
Ah, the Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Pues afortunadamente contábamos con un amigo. Voy a ver la rueda que ha hecho de dos millones a seiscientos. Peso amigo. You need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Is that true? Yes, left, right, and center, obstacles at every turn. The Sokoku decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from overseas. But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sokoku decree might restrict our scope of activity, but no. What's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is those Mora grubbers from the Conjo Commission. Of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on retail, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. The rising demand for crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher. <sighs> Now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere else. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle. The consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... <laughs> <sighs> We've tried communicating with the commission directly, but this is a nation where the cries Vamos, la conclusión de Inazuma es que es un pueblo de estafadores, te estafa la de la tienda, te estafa la de la entrada. Monopolio. Qué pueblo de choricete. And even he hasn't had any luck. Not to mention, we're Outlanders too. <sighs> right. And besides, I think this may well be the fate they've ordained for us. Okay. Well, we could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. <sighs> that vendor. I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, he may just let his guard down. If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Bueno, pues vamos a ir a buscar al estafador este. ¿Dónde estás, estafador? Aquí debajo del arbolito. Y esto se supone que es la médula cristalizada, ¿no? Vamos a ver con el Werner este. I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Karisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable, not by a single Mora. Hey, what's your problem? 
Coño, con la paina, se está cabreando. Como le de hambre, se lo come. Hablemos con Tomás, que es un coleguilla. Vamos a ver a Tomás. Me está gustando una suma. La, sobre todo la musiquilla ambiente... No está nada mal. ¿Esto qué es? Aquí colgadito. Está chulo el, el arbolito hoy. Parece que es como un paseo de prendas o, o algo. Bueno, toma, vamos a hablar. A ver qué nos cuenta. Eso fue rápido. ¿Has resuelto ya? No. Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. He used to be a member of the International Trade Association? Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Lia and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make... So he left the association and turned his back on them! <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. Bueno, vamos a hablar otra vez con el estafador. Venga, estafador, a ver si ahora nos cuentas algo. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. Vamos a ponerlo. El viento me llevó de vuelta aquí. Es de Mostar, sí que el viento de diente de león es de Mostar. Vamos a picarlo. Mostar. You were talking about Mostar. Esto es lo que hay que darle. Selecciona un objeto de mostar. Pues el diente de león. Ya que hemos hablado de diente de león. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. The scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Que el viento te guíe, no, que el arcón te anemo, que es de mostar. Es que lo vamos a meter en mostar hasta en la oreja. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working! Uh, oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! You mean the sound of the ocean? Pet tigre la parrilla? No. Echo sway. Leah Harbor. I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves, the calls of the merchants. Xiao lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. Either that or he really does miss Leah Harbor. <sighs> Leah. Que le damos de Liyue. Vamos a darle una florecita.
Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. Mucho están apoyando el pasado. Mean, Vamos. The folks from the International Trade Association. Often I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I, so I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? Venga, toma una copita. Venga, siempre But una I copita siempre them. viene bien. I can't show my face there. It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keiji, they start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... It's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. Que yo digo? Evidence? Un pueblo de chorizo. Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Sigue el rastro. Vamos a ver dónde está el rastro. Por aquí. Kajiro, it's him. Ay, ¿qué pasa? Que no nos puedes... Ah, vale, vale, vale. Que no nos pueden ver. Sigue el rastro sin que te descubran. Vale. Hay que esquivar a los guardias. Pues lo seguiremos de lejos. Hay que ir detrás de él. Venga, ligera un poquito. Te pesa el culete. Ah, Ryoko, how's Siempre detrás. Uy, que nos está viendo. Fuera. ¿Qué pasa? Me he ido. Vale, parece que... Ah, parece que lo hemos salvado. Otra vez nos ha visto. Ahí. Venga, vamos a seguir viendo la vez para dónde va. Now, who else is behind on payments? Let me think. Yes, the trade association click still needs to be brought into line. What was that sound? Shh, quiet! Don't let him find us! Hey, que solo la vuelta, uh, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! Huh? Where'd he go? 
Mira, ahí está el escondite. What could he be doing at a place like this? It looked like he buried something over there, didn't it? Why do we... Vamos a enterrar. Let me take a look here. Ah, yes. This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction. Each Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to... Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in and you know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger, so now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the t Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us! Well, uh... You, you, you see, the, the t Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. Huh. So you think you can use this against me, do you? I it's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest- Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure Commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to- uh, Well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? <sighs> Do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Ah, uh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. And not even an ounce of shame for his actions. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief, you've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. Oh, and you dare to utter the Commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. 
However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... ...lady of our clan some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan. The Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. But, Chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. Uh, no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Toma? What was all that? Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. All right, time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? The Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people- Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. You're asking the right questions. And, to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time, too. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery. But the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liyue. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage. It's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Ah... Hmm... That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Yes, of course. I completely understand and, as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh... Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well... My work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Toma's not 
such a bad guy, huh? <sighs> we should get... Huh? What's up? Oh, right! Wait, so... Did Toma forget that too? Oh, uh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing! As soon as we get off, Ritu Paimon's going straight to Kimura Tea House to settle the score! <sighs> well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Stop there. Present your travel. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narakami. If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Ah, <sighs> as expected. Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commission? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say, who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. Halt! This is the Kanjo Commission. We're here to see. Uh... The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now, or we'll be. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Commissioner! These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Hmm, come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Huh! Did you get all that? M my sincere apologies. I am Hiragi Shinsuke, Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hiragi Clan. Nice to meet you, sir. So, the reason we wanted to come and see you was because... All right, all right, all in good time. Two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me, and I should very much like to make their acquaintance. <laughs> so what you're saying is, we really are pretty famous, huh? Absolutely. How many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the Overlord of the Vortex back under the sea, eh? Exactly! Paimon thinks you make an excellent... And... 
I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even... Whoa! You heard about that too? Hmm... As I thought. Something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both is all. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Hmm. This oh, sure. No problem. Whatever you need, right? Excellent. Well, you must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the mountaintops of Liyue. Yep. Yes, bring me 300 Shingsen, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? Hmm, too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? That sounds much more like it. 709 letters, to be precise. Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> Considering taking this job? The terms are ridiculous! Halt, you two! Huh? What did we do? Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. Finally arrived. Uh, this is technically the second time we have met. It's wow. She's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. Uh, no need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments, and at last we have the chance to meet. Is that Paimon, or does something seem a bit off here? The reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is, well, discuss what? Uh, ahem. I should like to ask for your help with. Delivering a letter. Ugh, like father, like daughter. Uh, no, you misunderstand me. P I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that... <sighs> there is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito. But you are outlanders. Outland... <gasps> gets the whole picture now of course in doing so i will also do everything in my power to help you leave rito that to be perfectly honest as long as you remain in inazuma my yeah we figured as much it was pretty obvious i secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very er they seem to be discussing how to keep you here on rito in fact 
It was the first time I had ever heard my father speak so respectfully to someone who wasn't the show. We don't have much time. I'll tell you my plans to help you off the island. Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the border. I'm... on, please. These goods are being sent to... what? My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. These goods have been repeatedly requested... Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and an additional qualified escort... My lady, you aren't suggesting that you intend to escort this shipment personally, are you? There's certainly no need for you to- Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father has already asserted that this ship- Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this- Now, need I remind you of the penalty if anything were to happen to me en route? I'm- Do you really presume that you can fully guarantee- Boy, Chisato can talk the talk. Uh, uh yes, my lady. Very well, then. It's an honor to have you accompanying us. Shinojo, you can't really be a gr- Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is- Yes, but that's not the problem here. Well then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time- Yes, my lady. You heard her? There's no time to lose. My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Not as well as we'll handle it! Protect Lady Hiraki at all costs. We'll take care of this. Stay with Chisato. Yeah. 